Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. Today I'll be showing you the Hawken Rifle. Also known as the Plains Rifle, the Hawken Rifle was developed in 1823 by Samuel and Jacob Hawken. Throughout the fur trade and mountain man eras, it was very popular. Some of the most famous people to have used it include Hugh Glass and Jim Bridger. Arguably, the most famous person here in Utah to use it was Porter Rockwell. Porter Rockwell served as a bodyguard to Joseph Smith, Brigham Young, and others, and eventually became a U.S. Deputy Marshal here in Salt Lake City. There's even this saloon-styled restaurant here named Porter's Place after Porter Rockwell, so I thought this was an appropriate place to do a video on the Hawken Rifle. Well, why don't we take a closer look at the rifle, and then I'll get into showing you how to load it and fire it. Now this particular rifle is actually a reproduction made by Traditions. They call it the Hawken Woodsman. It is a 54 caliber, so it shoots a very large projectile. If you look at the picture that's now on your screen of an example of an original Hawken, you'll see that this is not quite an exact replica. For example, the originals usually did not have this nice brass on them. They typically just had simple iron, and the sights were very primitive. This, on the other hand, is a very nice adjustable rear sight. Although the front sight is just a simple blade, very similar to those on the originals. Just looking at a little more on the rifle, back here in the stock there is a patch box where you can keep your shooting patches. In this case I have some patches made from pillow ticking fabric that are pre-lubricated, ready to go. The early Hawkins were flintlock designs, which means they used the primitive flint and steel method of creating a spark. This is a percussion rifle. If I pull it to half cock, you'll see that it uses a nipple which will hold a percussion cap very similar to the percussion revolvers you've seen in my other videos. The way this gun works is when the hammer is cocked, the trigger is pulled, the cap is struck sending a spark through this little channel into the barrel where it ignites the powder. Now you may have noticed that this rifle seems to have two triggers. The one in the front is the actual trigger and it can be fired with that alone. But this is a set trigger. When this trigger is pulled first it turns the trigger into a hair trigger, so it will only take a very light touch to set it off, which is a great help for improved accuracy. Well, why don't we head up the hill now and do some loading and firing. First, let's make sure I'm not already handling a loaded gun. To see if a muzzle-loading rifle like the Hawken is already loaded, you can use the ramrod by dropping it inside the bore. This ramrod is the same length as the bore, so when it sits flush like this, we know that the barrel is empty. Some ramrods are longer, but you can take a permanent marker to make a mark where the end of the bore is, or a knife and cut a small mark so that you always know what marks an empty bore. The first step for loading is to make sure the spark will have a clear path from the nipple to the powder. To do that, I'm going to pull the hammer to half cock and place one of my number 11 percussion caps on the nipple. Now the gun is not loaded, the barrel is completely empty, I'm just going to fire a cap so a spark will clear any obstructions. So with the gun pointed in a safe direction, I'll just fire a cap. Next step is to add the powder. Now I've already measured out 90 grains of 2FG GoX black powder. So I'm just going to add the powder into the barrel. Next, I'm going to take one of my pre-lubricated patches made from pillow ticking fabric, cut to the size for a 54 caliber, place that over the muzzle, and then place the ball over the patch. The balls that I'm using are, the size is .530 of one inch, which is a little smaller than 54 caliber, but we have a patch that's going to make it nice and tight. So I'll take the ball starter now, place that over the ball, and just start the ball into the barrel, get it down nice and flush, then I'll take this part of the ball starter and get it as far down as that will go to get it started. Now I'll take the ramrod, place that in the barrel, and just finish ramming the ball all the way to the bottom. Make sure you give it a few hits and make sure it's fairly tight on the powder. You don't want any airspace between the powder and the ball because that can create an extra explosive situation. So just make sure it's packed in there tight and now we're ready to move on. Now with the barrel loaded with powder, patch, and ball, it's time to add a number 11 percussion cap. So I'll pull the hammer to the half cock position, which is also the safety position, add the cap, and now ready to cock the hammer and fire.
I've got my good friend Jessie here with me today who's helping me with the camera and some other technical things and she's never fired black powder so she's going to fire the Hawken. Oh no! What? Look! What? What? That's the high fructose gain! It's just a bunch of orange soda. Orange soda? Those are carbonated bandits! I'm sorry, what? Carbonated bandits! Okay, they're carbonated bandits. Ah! Look, could we just shoot them? This assembly of a Hawken is fairly simple. First, the ramrod is removed. Then, this wedge needs to be driven out with a non-metallic mallet, just like that. Then it can be pulled free. And now the barrel, after I put the hammer on half cock, will just lift right out of the stock. Then, with a nipple wrench, I can remove the nipple just by unscrewing it, backing it out all the way. And now with that removed, the gun is disassembled and ready for cleaning. Make sure you check out my black powder cleaning video to see the products I use and the process I use for getting rid of that black powder fouling. I really hope you've enjoyed taking this look at the Hawken rifle today, but if you'll excuse me, I need to go get a steak here at Porter's Place. If you'd ever like to do the same, you'll find a link to the Porter's Place website in the video description. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see a lot more videos. Thank you so much for watching.